My alleged removal as UDA Secretary General was outright unlawful, unfair, and a sheer blatant contravention of the party constitution and laid down processes. Sadly, this coup was plotted and executed by senior party officials who are otherwise expected to protect and uphold the same constitution. Neither were any charges preferred against me in public or private to warrant and justify my removal, nor was I given an opportunity to defend myself as required by law and the rules of natural justice. I was convicted and sentenced without trial because my aggressors had nothing against me. To the extent that none of them could sign and debt the statement that purportedly communicated my ouster. That this coup was plotted and orchestrated by two senior party officials alongside others within the party secretariat. These senior officials are Mrs. Cecil Barire and Mr. Kimani Ichungwa, MP for Kikuyu constituency. That my oster by the above officials had nothing to do with incompetence or my inability to run the UDA party, but was a well choreographed script intended to climax with the impeachment of the deputy president regarding Ashanga. My close an inevitable working relationship with the deputy president, who is also the UDA deputy party leader, act them. And when their concerted effort, lobbying and coercion to set me against my deputy party leader failed, I was effectively profiled and labeled as an obstacle towards their evil plot and conspiracy to have his excellency regarding Gashagwa impeached. It is not a coincidence, therefore, that one of the coup plotters' accomplices, Mr. Hassan Omar, was unlawfully proposed as my immediate replacement. 